Right, okay, we're back. Um, I've uh, cleaned up a bit, <laughs> moved some stuff around. What, what I had to do was uh, roughly polar align this mount. Uh, south, we're in the southern hemisphere. South is down that way towards that camera, um, which means that, uh, which means that what? West is that way? West is, sorry, west is that way. And also what I've, what I've roughly done is um, I've got the, uh, the altitude around about Melbourne's uh, uh, latitude, uh, latitude. That's 37 degrees south. Now, the way, uh, the way you adjust these things, I don't know if this camera can pick it up, uh, there's, a, there's an altitude adjustment, which is here. You can just see it moving backwards and forwards just slightly. And uh, the, the azimuth adjustment, maybe use this, this camera to show it's moving left and right. So we just, we'll just lock it in place there. Let's lock the, lock the altitude there. So it's all, it should be solid as a rock, this thing. So, so let's turn it on. As you can see, I've used a. Uh, we've got a Celestron power tank here, which is uh, which is giving giving us uh, 12 volts. So I'll turn it on, and it will say verifying packages. Please wait. Um, and it's still saying that. Right now it says uh, CGX ready. Press enter to begin the alignment. Now the first thing it does, the, this has uh, this has switches inside it, which will tell uh, which will tell the mount exactly where it is. Um, and so if I if I for example start off in some weird arrangement, like, like that, the first thing it's going to do is say, um, is I'm going to set myself back at the home, uh, the home plate. So if I just press that, it's going to say set switch position. Just uh, I press enter and it will automatically set itself back to um, its home position. Now you can change that home position if you if you want. It's just going to be it's just going to be the um, the, the the default to start with. I'm not going to change it. You notice it does a little bit of backlash uh, compensation as well, so it goes past and then back. Now it's going to ask me time, date, location. So this is when I pull out my my phone. That was my microphone. My phone, and it's 4:32, so 16. 32 and some seconds, press enter. We are still in daylight savings for a couple of more weeks. It is the 29th of March, so you have to, say, have to, have to put it in, in the American, so it's 03 for March 29, 2019, press enter. And now it wants to know what sort of star alignment. Um, it's during the day, so this is going to be fairly, uh, fairly academic. I'm going to do a one star alignment. Normally, if, uh, if you're a into astrophotography, you would start by with a two-star alignment, and then you would probably add your own uh, additional alignment stars. That it can take from memory up to ten. You can make it quite accurate. However, one-star alignment will be sufficient for today's explanation. Uh, it's going to look for Achenar. Now, Achenar during the day is up there and off that way. So let's. I'll give it a go. Let's see how we. Oh, look at this. It's going to slew to where it thinks Akinar is. Much better than I could have done it, I can tell you. Now, it's going to ask me to get it roughly into the, uh, the view of the finder scope and then use the direction, the, the direction buttons here to, uh, to get it into the finder scope. So what we do is go down here and while, uh, yes, I can sit there a little bit left or right or something, so let's just move it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Okay, move it and right. It's roughly in there now. So now it press enter to go to the next stage. And the next stage it says get Akana into the actual eyepiece. I'll just move the eyepiece so that I can get to it nice and easily. It's a good thing about these these star diagonals. Now it, it wants me to find Akana in the centre of this thing. So I put my eye to there and. my eye to there and find that, you know, I can maybe a little bit left or right. It's going to slew slowly in, in this case, so I'll just move it a little bit. Let's make believe we found it in, the, in there now. So we press the align button and it will say align successful. So now it's just asking me where do I want to look. So let's say um, 
what's up at the moment? Mars is up during the day, so let's go to press the solar system button and Mercury, Venus, Mars. Okay, press Mars and it will go to... Okay, very near the meridian, you can tell because, the, uh, because this is very flat. By the way, this, uh, this mount has hard stops for, uh, for, for the mount protection. I qu uh, I, I can, if I unclutch it and then try to move the, move the telescope down further, it will, it will reach a stop. There's a physical stop there and on the other side. So now it's, uh, it's, it's pointing to Mars. So now, I don't know, let's, let's, what else is up? Um, oh, let's have a look at something in, in, in the Southern Cross, shall we? Let's so go to stars, uh, constellations. Yes, let's go to constellations. Enter Andromeda, no, Atlantia, Apus, Aquarius, Ara. Oh, Ara. Um, Aries, Carina. Oh, Carina, there you go. Let's... Let's look for something in Carina. Press enter. Now, name stars within Carina. No, let's, let's see if we can find one of them. Canopus. Yeah, let's find Canopus. And there we go. <laughs> and there we go. Now, while I'm here, I'll just go through the ports on this thing. There are two auxiliary ports. I'll, I'll put a still in here. Two auxiliary ports. One of them goes to the hand box. The other one can be used for a star sense a, a auto aligner or a, a, a Wi-Fi dongle so you can control it using your phone, something like that. Um, now, on the other side, there's, a, uh, there's the auto guide uh, port. So you can put an auto guider on here and have it going straight to the auto guide. Um, there's a PC, uh, a, a USB input. Now the USB input is to be used for firmware updates and also the, um, the, the Celestron's uh, rem uh, Next Remote software. You can control the whole thing from your PC using Next Remote. If you wanted to, I'll go around here, if you want to control this mount via ASCOM, which is what I do, I'm the astrophotographer, um, I use Sequence Generator Pro because it's awesome. Um, if, you, if you want to do that, control it using ASCOM, you have to go in through the bottom end of the hand control. And this is, a, this is another USB port which is good for ASCOM. Well, there we have it for the, uh, the CGX 800. That's the CGX mount and the 8-inch Celestron um, Cassegrain. Um, it's a brilliant bundle. It's, uh, it's, it's big and it's heavy and it's very, very stable. I like the software. Um, I think I've already been through the, the, the additional stuff that you can get for it, the StarSense Auto Align, you can get uh, a Wi-Fi adapter, um, you can get a, an auto guider for it, particularly, particularly good for, the, uh, for the, the astrophotographers. You can go, I don't know, um, you could probably do 20 minute exposures on this if you, if you wanted to. With my CMOS, uh, CMOS cameras, you probably don't need to do more than 10 minutes, but uh, auto guider makes that very, very possible. That's really all there is. Um, enjoy, um, and we'll see you next time.